Hello, I'm Paul Pluto and welcome to Paul Pluto Prestige. Today I've got a very special treat for you and uh, it's basically every Christmas I like to take my pieces out for Christmas Day and um, you know one thing about being a collector, a hoarder, a uh, very materialistic sort of person is I get satisfaction from opening them and checking out all the packaging and making sure they look absolutely stunning and uh, this Christmas was no different and uh, I've got my top pieces here I decided not to include everything I haven't got my Breguet on display and my wife's got a couple of Rolexes but that's because I wanted to only represent the upper echelon in this display and it's getting a bit too big so I thought look I'll bring the top pieces out the three Pateks and two Jaeger Lecoultres. And uh, we'll just have a look here. First, we'll have a look at my wife's Patek 24. And uh, this was a box I actually had to track down. And uh, it's a great box. These are, these are a special box just for the Patek 24. And uh, they're very modern and stylish and chic. And... Um, it, it's pretty hard to to get some of these boxes but you know you look around on eBay and they do come up and eBay is making it harder they don't want people to sell boxes without the watch now which is just an absolute crock of dog shit as far as I'm concerned and there you have a look a beautiful Patek 24 with the ever black dial and that's the the beautiful Alamillion box with the the beautiful in I just love that color interior it's just just absolutely gorgeous and uh, the watch just looks so stunning and uh, I'm the sort of collector who likes to actually get the boxes for the pieces I try and get my pieces with the box obviously if they're priced right it doesn't matter if they don't have the box but I like to try and track it down eventually and see see what I can do and uh, another great fabulous Patek which I really adore is my Patek 5107 that's the white gold Calatrava and I've got everything. I've even got the sachet, I've got the, the plastic bag that the watch is sealed in the tag and here is the Calatrava famous coffin box and I'm just opening it up now and uh, it just looks stunning. There's the, the plastic that the, the watch was originally in and it's just gorgeous to, um, to look at this here and see how it's um, how it presents and uh, it's like it's like going into a sweet shop and suddenly uh, rediscovering one of your pieces and this is this is beautiful I love Patek this is the 5107 this is the traditional coffin box it just suits it to a T and uh, I just love taking some photos of my boxes and uh, you know it's part of being materialistic and being a hoarder and to collecting these things and uh, they're just just really gorgeous I think this ensemble here I paid just under 50,000 Australian dollars which is about 51 52 US uh, 52,000 US dollars so yeah that's a, that's a reasonable investment I've got and I've got the extract from the archive here we go Jaeger Lecoultre this is my grand reverso date this is the one that my wife gave me for my birthday and this came everything, box papers, absolutely everything. It even came with a valuation from the, the Brisbane jewellery store, Hardy Brothers, um, that, that was issued with the piece. So I got absolutely everything and I've, I've fitted this piece with my new ostrich. It's an African ostrich strap and I just love it. I just love the Jaeger Lecoultre. Just a stunning beautiful piece and uh, I love the blue the blue in that box there and just how the, uh, the the reverso steel glistens in the sun with the piece is just spectacular and I, I love I love having a look at the boxes and I like to do this also just to check out the box the condition and make sure nothing's deteriorated and it's all holding up well and uh, it's just beautiful to see here and uh, again I've this is my wife's Jaeger Lecoultre Reverso Shadow and this is a box I had to track down and I've just got this box in it's beautiful cream color um, which I think is right for the ladies but you know they used a variety of boxes it's the same vintage as my wife's uh, Jaeger Lecoultre piece so it, 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 it's okay and just open that up 
and presto there's the ladies Jager La Coltra Reverso Manual Wine Shadow and I think it looks really feminine in a cream a light grey sort of a box there with the cream interior it's just beautiful just a quality box you know you can tell this is not a cheap piece of shit watch this is a quality piece and uh, you know it's something that is just I love it I absolutely love Jager La Coltra and you can see why I've chosen to highlight these pieces in my review they're just beautiful quality stunning pieces and uh, the piece de la lit of uh, resistance this is the uh, the Patek annual calendar 5035 and uh, I just recently got this and I, I think this box actually isn't quite correct this is a more modern box but uh, hey I think it suits it perfectly and um, we'll just have a look here I've kind of, I've left the the top of the box at home because it's such a bugger to put put in and out so we'll just have a look here this is the the beautiful new Patek um, box which they use for a lot of pieces now including the current 5146 annual calendar we'll just open it up and we'll have a look inside and wow I mean look this is Rolls-Royce presentation this is what a, uh, a $50,000 wristwatch would how it would be would be presented to to sir and uh, it's just just a beautiful box absolutely stunning I love to take some shots of it in its box here it just looks the part and it's almost too good to wear and um, I really do love this piece this box may not be right but the piece came with box this box and it also came with all the papers the certificate everything so I'm really quite pleased to have everything in this collection for this beautiful Patek Philippe 5035 annual calendar it's just stunning and uh, here's, here's a couple shots here of all the boxes together so that's, that's the uh, the five really upper end pieces and this this is about this cost me just under 50,000 Australian just about 52 US there's that's the outer boxes and uh, that's the the boxes there and and I think re recommended retail replacement price for all these pieces here would be about a hundred and twenty thousand but a hundred and ten to hundred and twenty thousand dollars I think and uh, that's that's a pretty impressive collection there and I, I really love them I love these pieces and uh, look at that that the, these pieces here let's look at them they're just gorgeous glistening in the Sun a true hoarder true collector true person who loves material possessions and uh, that's me I'm sorry I didn't say I was a perfect angel I like to hoard and collect my stuff but you can see the love I have for my pieces and if it's not hurting anyone what harm can it possibly do and uh, just look at it it's beautiful they're beautiful pieces beautiful pieces and uh, I'd much rather have this collection than a, uh, a BMW 5 series or an e-class that's for sure I mean this collection here I bought it all wisely secondhand I'm really not gonna lose a lot of money you buy a brand new Benz in three years time it's worth what 40% of uh, of what you paid for it and uh, these, these are a good investment I love them I love quality things I love quality watches and uh, I hope you can see the passion that I have for them and uh, I'm Paul Pluter from Paul Pluter Prestige and I hope you've enjoyed this episode Box and Papers thank you very much there hey Joshy tell us about these mi oh my god where are these mice from Squeakland. Which mice? Show me the mice. Which one's squeak? Where's Mousy? Mousy's hiding. What? I can't find Mousy. And where's Squeaker? Here. And who's that in your hand there? Shakespeare. And what's your one, Nathan? Santa! Okay, a bit softer. <coughs> and what, tell me about these. What, what's, what's he doing there, Joshy?
What's he saying? Sh show me the other mice on the table here. Who's that? <laughs>